Hello, in this video lesson, I'm going to show you a quick way to turn three separate photographs into shots of clones so that you can then duplicate friends and family and have a little bit of fun with Photoshop. To create the illusion of clones, you need to take several photographs, but the only thing that should change in each photograph is the position of your clones. So stick the camera on a tripod and keep all the settings on manual so the focus and the aperture and other things such as shutter speed don't change between each photo. Then take your first shot, such as this one here, then take another shot and you can see the boy's in a different position. And here's our third shot where he's putting a branch into the treehouse. So what we're going to do is combine the three shots together to create the illusion of clones. So I've opened my three photographs in Photoshop CC. I'm going to go to this third shot here and choose Select All. You can see the marquee appears around the edge and then go to Edit, Copy. I can close this file now, I don't need it anymore. And we're going to go to file two, which is our main file where the boy is nice and sharp and looking at the camera. And if I go to edit paste, you'll notice in the layers palette, we now have two layers. Layer one is the copied photograph. If I turn that off, you can see the original photograph on the background layer. Let's turn that on again. And now go to our other shot and choose select all, edit, copy. I can close shot one now. And we're gonna add this to this layer document here by going to edit, paste, and we now have three photographs on three separate layers. So the only thing that should be moving in each layer is the boy. If I turn this layer off, you can see there's a slight jump in the background woods there. Turn it on again and off again. You can see the trees are jumping around slightly, so the camera has moved a little bit. Let's turn this layer off. These two layers are a little bit more successful, though it's rotating slightly. So the tripod was on leaves. It's probably been moving around as the boy's been walking around in the shot. So what we need to do is make sure we've aligned our three photographs perfectly. And to do that, we can click on the top layer and then shift click to select all three like so. And then go up to edit and choose auto align layers. This is gonna be particularly useful if you shot the photograph handheld. Click to select that and that pops the auto align layers option. And the best bet probably is to stick to auto and click OK. And that's going to align all the content in the images and then move them around a little bit. So now when we turn off the top layer, the trees in the background aren't moving at all. Let's turn off this layer. There's not a single thing moving. This branch is staying rock steady. So now the layers are nicely aligned and we're going to blend them together more effectively. OK, I'm just going to click on layer zero and drag that to the top of the stack because that is the most important image of the boy looking at the camera. And then I'm going to poke a hole in this layer to reveal the boy from the layer below. And to do that, I need to click on the top layer here and click here to add a layer mask. Now the layer mask is initially white and that means it's not making any changes to the attached layer until we paint on the layer mask thumbnail using the brush tool, which is this one here. You can get that by pressing B or click to select it, go to the brush preset picker and choose a soft round tip. A size of 600 will do the trick in this particular case, so you might need to change that size depending on the resolution of your source photograph. I need to make sure I'm using a black brush on the mask, so I can click here to set it to the default black and white, and then toggle this little arrow to get the black in the foreground. Click on the mask and you can see there's a little rectangle to make sure we're painting on the mask and not on the attached layer. And then the fun begins, because all we need to do is to move over to this section here and spray black on the mask and that pokes a hole in the top layer to reveal the boy on the layer below. And the only thing that's changing on the two layers is the position of the boy. So all the background details, all the branches and leaves are pretty much in the same position. So you can do a very rough and ready spray and quickly combine two layers without any complex selections to be made. Something like that should do the trick. And if I turn off the background layer now, you can see that there's the top layer with the boy. And thanks to the mask, there's a hole in this section here. So we can combine that layer there and this layer together to create the illusion of clones or twins. Now we just need to add this third layer to the mix. I'm going to drag it to the top of the layer stack, turn it on. and It's now hiding the two layers below. So all I need to do is click here to add a layer mask to this top layer. I need to make sure the mask is selected or targeted by clicking on it and then I can use a black brush tip and I can use the right square bracket to create a much larger tip. And if I click and spray now, we're making this section of the top layer transparent to reveal the boy from layer two on the bottom there. And if I carry on there, we'll also reveal the boy from a layer zero. I'm going to use the left square bracket for a smaller tip just so that we don't go too far and erase the boy on the right there. 
So that's a great way of quickly blending three separate layers together, like so. Ooh, let's go and make sure we get the full part of the branch there at the top. Let me turn off the two bottom layers now. And so the top layer is showing just this boy on the right here. Then we've got the boy in the middle and the boy in the left, all thanks to the power of layer masks. Now at the very bottom here, you can see a hint of transparency and that's because we aligned the images to start with. So some of them have been moved and there's a little bit of a transparent edge to the image. So to tidy that up, I'm gonna grab the crop tool like so. And then I'm just gonna tie to that in a little bit just to lose any hints of unwanted transparent edges. Something like that should do the trick. When you're happy, click the tick to apply the crop. And there's our clones. And we can save that as a layer document by going to File and choosing Save. And that's gonna keep the layers protected so we can then come back and fine tune the layer masks in the future if we like. So I'll just click OK. Yes, we're keeping those layers, that's fine. And now we've got a layered TIFF like so. But you might wanna share the image with family and friends. So if you go to File and choose Save As, you can change it to a flat JPEG. Call it Clones and click Save. And that will then be something you can upload to the web to share on social media sites, etc.